Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here and I am back with some Dragon Age 2. This should be one of the final episodes, maybe the final one. Don't know yet because this final quest is kind of long, so we'll fill it out. I don't want to make this episode like 40 minutes long or 50 minutes long, we so we'll see how long it takes me to get to the gallows because that's where we need to go. And then we have to sit through a lot of dialogue and a lot of cutscenes, so we'll see. You know, if this turns out to be a 60-part series, I would kind of like that better than a 59-part series. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Bethany. I've been looking everywhere for you. I thought you were dead. Last time we spoke, it didn't seem like that would matter to you. I... wanted to apologize for what happened in the deep roads. You saved my life, and I couldn't even see that. You're the only family I have left. If you need my help against the Templars, just say the word. I thought the Order was supposed to be neutral. Right now, I'm not a Grey Warden. I'm your sister. I blamed you for putting me in the Order, but you did it to help me. I was wrong. Your magic would be welcome. Good. Brother and sister together again? Just like old times. Oh man, I totally forgot about this. See, I always remember her being a mage. If she's in the mage's circle, you do not get her for the final quest until like the very end. And she's really useful either way. But if she's a Grey Warden, you get her right away. So now I wish I would have fucking killed Anders. That motherfucker needed to die for what he did. Alright, I guess we should level her up. But yeah, I totally forgot about that. So I really should have killed Anders. Fuck him. Um, I really don't know what I want to get. Because there's really nothing here that I need. Um... Fuck, we'll go walking bomb. I don't even care. At this late stage of the game, I don't really think it matters all that much. Let's see what we can equip to her, though. Because she's going to need something. Uh, we'll go with nature damage. That sounds pretty good. I guess I must have took off all her rings and stuff in the Legacy DLC. But yeah, she should be really useful for this quest. It's really nice to have her and Anders because, I mean, fuck... It's broken. Basically, what you can do with the two of them is that you can have two haste and two heals. And, of course, Anders, he can heal as well with uh, different spells. Oh, what the fuck was that about? That should do it. So, yeah, this quest should be extremely easy now. Although, there are a couple battles, especially getting there, that can be challenging. Honestly, like the final battles, like the boss battles, they're not that hard. And kind of disappointing, especially in terms of the story. Because no matter what you do, no matter what you chose along the way, it turns out it doesn't matter. Everything will happen, no matter what. It's fucking bullshit. Stay where you are! There is no escape! Leave me alone. I never asked for any of this. The law is clear, mage. We cannot take the risk. Keep away from me. I'm warning you. Kill it! Kill it now! Uh-oh. Alright, so I think the Templars are dicks. But at the same time, it's kind of fucked up that all the fucking mages, I mean every freaking mage in this game that you encounter, once a mage is cornered, they will always resort to blood magic. So it's kind of like, well fuck, now the Templars... Well, they're kind of right, you know, the Templars say mages are dangerous and you shouldn't trust them and we can't allow them to uh, be free and all this other shit. And you feel sorry for the mages because, you know, it sucks to be them. But at the same time, you know, fuck, like I said, like every time you encounter a mage and the mage gets cornered in this game, oh god, reinforcements, let's back the hell up, put out our decoy, use that. Back up, people. Back up. Everybody back up. Now, this is what's great. I can actually use haste again with uh, Bethany. That's, that's freaking awesome. Anyway, like I was saying, so basically, 
every time a mage gets cornered, they resort to blood magic. They transform into some fucking demon or something, and it's like, okay, maybe the Templars have a fucking point. Uh-oh. Rage demon! Kill that motherfucker! Kill him now! Ah, uh, he got away. Oh, there's another rage demon as well. That freaking sucks. Man, my dog's over there doing fucking work. Oh, shit! Kill him! Kill it! Kill it! Oh, God! Assassinate this fucking thing! Oh, shit. I can't even do it. That bastard got away. Ugh! Oh, man. Where the fuck is the rage demon? Get it! Got one rage demon. Let's get this other one now. Assassinate him. Obviously, rage demons. Oh, God! Not that stupid thing. Ugh, mark death. Fucking Templar lieutenants. These guys have a lot of health, but it should be pretty easy to kill this guy. And he's dead. And we got like one more shade left and this battle should be over. There we go. Alright, now hopefully there's going to be a lot of shades for this quest. So hopefully my two mages will actually be able to damage them. I'm pretty sure they are immune to spirit magic. And I think they're resistant to basically like all other magics. So that's the only downside to fighting demons and shades and stuff is that your mages generally will not do all that much damage to them. So you have to kind of rely on Varric and Hawk to uh, do the majority of the damage for you. That kind of sucks. Oh god, look at this. Oh my god, look at this. Ugh. Damn, my dog's a baller. My dog is still out there kicking ass. Anyway... But yeah, okay, Abominations, I guess they take damage no matter what. Oh my god, there is a lot of enemies in this quest. This is freaking crazy. Back up, people! Back up! Oh, Anders! Alright, now this is what's awesome, like I said, having Bethany, because now I can heal Anders up. Let's go to Anders and move him away, since he wants to be stupid. Alright, let's go to Hawk. Fucking Hawk it keeps using pinning shot. Oh god, what the hell? How, what? Oh, okay, I'm about to say, what happened to uh, Varric? I guess someone froze him by accident, whatever. Heal him up. We don't want to lose anybody, obviously. That would be bad. Oh, there's a desire demon. Oh, no. Mark of death. Assassinate that bitch. And there we go. Wow. Hawk just does work, man. Hawk is the best. I love using a rogue hawk with a bow. It's, like, so good. Oh, no. Okay. This sucks. Let's see if I can get a potion off. Come on. Heal. Nope, he's dead. Alright, poor Varric is down. Alright. Whatever. Oh, man, there is a lot of fucking enemies. Leave us alone! Leave us alone! Ah! Get him! Hawk. There we go. This should do it. And the fight is over? Maybe not. I guess the fight's not over yet. Alright, let's go ahead and pick this stuff up, and we got one more enemy, assassinate that fool, and now the fight should be over. Or not. Where the fuck is this last enemy? God, I hate this about this game sometimes. It's like, I just want the fight to be over! There we go. Now the fight is over. Okay, let's go ahead and use an injury kit on Varric, and we gotta put his buffs back on, speed, and, oh wow, okay, he already put on his, uh... Brianka song. That is a really good buff. Alright, so let's go ahead and loot all this stuff. You know, honestly, I don't even know why I'm looting this stuff. It's not like I really need it. <laughs> you know, we're at the end of the game. That's what happens. Alright. Now, what sucks about this quest, or one thing I don't like, is that no matter what you do, like, you're gonna have to fight Templars and Mages, and it's kinda like, what the fuck? Like, I'm trying to help the Mages, so why are the Mages trying to kill me? Now, I guess it's understandable to a certain degree, like when the mages become demons and shit, they just come after anyone, so it doesn't matter at that point. But, you know, fuck. Like, this is an example of mages actually, like, you know, trying, you know, we're all working together, we're in this together. But most of the fights here, I'm going to be fighting against mages and the Templars, and it's like, oh my god, really? See, this is what I'm talking about. No matter what you chose throughout the game, it really doesn't make a difference in the end. You're going to have to fight mages, you're going to have to fight templars, you're going to have to fight the one guy as a boss, uh, Orsino, you're going to have to fight Meredith, you know, the templar chick, as a boss. So it's like, oh god, come on Bioware, what the fuck were you smoking with this game? Oh shit, there's a lieutenant out there. Let's go mark a death him. Mark a death! Urgh, assassinate! And he's a goner. Well, that fight was easy. That one is really easy, just because... 
you can have those mages over there that will help you. And they do play distractions. Let's pick up all this stuff. I don't know why. Why am I picking this up? I'm tripping. All right. Now, I believe we have to run through the docks. And this part, this upcoming fight is like the worst. So I'm definitely worried about this fight because this fight, basically, I believe there's a blood mage and a giant demon. And there's a whole bunch of other demons and shit. So it's one of the hardest fights in the entire game in terms of just normal enemies. So we'll have to see what's up. My dog, I kind of want that to recharge before we actually engage. Oh man, like I said, this sucks. So you can see like this chick over there. And she's a blood mage. And like I was saying, although I'm trying to help the mages, uh, all these fucking mages are trying to kill me. It's like, come on now. I'm trying to help you, fool. Alright, wait for the dog. Get the dog out. Alright, let's do this. Urgh, assassinate that fucking blood mage! Oh god, that sucks. See, here's the problem with this fight. There's so many fucking shades. Oh god. No, people, move back. Move back! Anyway, there's so many fucking shades that it's really, really fucking hard. Oh god, man. Oh god, look at all these damn shades, man. It's really, really difficult to target the blood mage and obviously the blood mage can just like one shot my entire party oh my god I wasn't paying attention we need to definitely heal him up heal full heal there we go but yeah oh okay there's the blood mage oh shit I got distracted kill the blood mage get the blood mage I think we almost got yes we got the blood mage all right at this point this should be a little bit easier I'm not gonna say it's gonna be real easy though oh man Bethany's getting fucked up Oh, back up, Bethany. Cast haste. Uh, fuck. Ah, we need to kill as many shades as possible. Fuck, I'm just gonna assassinate one. I don't care. Just just try to kill him as quickly as possible. Because there's so many of them. And we're totally cornered right now. Oh, Hawk is down! No! That was the last thing I wanted to see was Hawk to go down. Alright, come on. Well, we need to kill a couple more shades. Oh, God, Bethany. Do not die. Do not die. There you go. And I kind of think I'm just going to go ahead and heal Varric. Alright, come on. Kill a couple more shades. Alright, let's go ahead. Oh my god, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, let's move down. Run, run, run. I'm going to actually quickly turn this on. Okay, I basically what I'm trying to do here... I'm trying to move away my party. Oh god, Bethany's down. It doesn't really matter though. Okay, it looks like Varric is getting destroyed as well. Varric's gonna die. Varric is so gonna die. But see, all I need to do here is keep Anders alive. If I can keep Anders alive, that's what matters. I'm trying to lure the enemies away so that I can actually revive my party. I mean, look at the look at my map. Look how many fucking enemies there are. That is re donkey list, man. All right. I'm trying to use an eight allies. Really? I don't have enough mana for that. Come on, eight allies. There we go. I want to turn that off. Alright, I'm going to go back to Hawk now. Because this is going to be important. Now I'm going to target my party, tell them to come over here, get my dog out, get my decoy out, do that. <clears throat> come on. Bethany, can you use a haste? No, she can't. Can Anders use a haste? Yes, he can, actually. Alright, haste. Alright, now let's move my party again. Just take this slow, you know. Fucking my party, man. They're so stupid. I say go up, they go down. Oh, God. Fucking idiots. Whatever. Alright, we need to be careful. I just need to watch Anders' health. I don't want to lose him. Oh, he's dead. Anders is totally dead. Well, that sucks, uh, but yeah, we still have haste, so we're doing a lot of damage right now, and that's what, that's what really matters. Come on, Bethany, we don't want to lose you now. Go ahead and heal yourself. Come on, heal yourself, there you go. She has the most health, I believe, out of everyone right now, so I'd rather have her fighting, and she should be able to use haste. Use haste. Alright, kill these fucking shades, man. There's just so many fucking shades to outrageous... Alright, I think we did it. Alright, there's one more enemy left. I believe it's the giant demon. I don't know how I didn't aggro that fucking demon. But whatever. Alright, I'm gonna actually take this time real quick to use injury kits. 
Uh, here we go. Go ahead and pick that up. And yeah, we should be good. The demon should be pretty easy to kill. Alright, let's do it. Mark a death to demon, get it! Urgh! Now, assassinate that fool! Come on, we need some damage on it. Oh wow, that demon's getting fucked up. Alright, that should be the end of the fight, I would imagine. Give me all that stuff. Alright, it's over. Actually, I believe there's going to be a couple more enemies somewhere. But I want Anders to get all his health back. Let's see here. I think we're good. I'm just kind of running around. Trying to open everything I can. And find all the loot. But yeah, that fight fucking sucks, if you can't tell. Hey, the Enigma of Kirkwall. That's some bullshit, man. I just killed, like, 40 enemies. And I believe I got 300? 300 XP for all those enemies? That is outrageous! Alright, but let's go ahead and work our way over here. This is, uh, the Gallows. Or this is how we're gonna get there. And, yeah. Now we can sit through some cutscenes. And then, if I remember right, we have to talk to all our allies, you know. So it's like, you know, hey, thanks, man, for helping me. You're so cool. Yeah, okay. Oh, we could skip that, though. Speak if you have something to say. Revoke the right of annulment, Meredith, before this goes too far. Imprison us if you must. Search the tower. I will even help you. But do not kill us all for an act we did not commit. The Grand Cleric is dead, killed by a mage. The people will demand retribution, and I will give it to them. Your offer is commendable, Orsino, but it comes too late. The time for talking is done. Evidently so. You realize this is a cause you cannot hope to win. I thought freedom from slavery meant something to you. I, uh... I have changed my mind, human. I will stand with my friend. As you wish. I did not ask for your assistance. I'm disappointed in you, champion. So be it. You will share the Circle's fate. So what is it to be, Meredith? Do we fight here? Go. Prepare your people. The rest of the Order is already crossing the harbor. This isn't over. She is such a fucking bitch, man. Alright, so now we need to talk to Orsino and basically come up with the battle plan. It's the same thing if you choose uh, Meredith, but you just have to talk to her. Alright, before we talk to him, I'm pretty sure we can actually talk Done. to our allies. And I think I might actually end the episode after I talk to these people. Oh shit, I ran out of room. Eh, that's whatever. I don't, I don't need that weapon. Let's, uh... I guess we'll just go to... We'll, we'll go down the line. Here I am, about to defend these mages in hopeless battle. You lead me to strange places, Hawk. Sometimes you have to do the right thing. I'll take your word on that. Now the battle awaits us. Navia Lerno Victoria. Only the living know victory. Fight well. Hey, that makes a lot of sense. Captain. Ah, uh, not for much longer if this goes bad. What a mess. You really put loyalty to the test, you know. Donick has kept the guard protecting civilians. Meredith will have no support from them. With luck, well, let's just say we need some luck. I never wanted to mess up your life like this. I think it's something that just sort of happens to friends of yours. Hawk, it's worth it. Let's bust some heads like the old days. Aww. Alright, now we get to talk to our sister. With Carver, I never got the chance to say goodbye. I won't let that happen now. Brother, if we don't come back from this, never doubt that I love you. I wouldn't have chosen this life, but the Maker gave it to me for a reason. Maybe this is it. Does that mean you forgive me? 
I used to imagine what would have happened if I'd stayed with Mother instead of going on that damned expedition. Was Carver not enough for the Darkspawn? Did they have to steal my life as well? But the Wardens serve a purpose, a noble one. I can't regret helping them. Of all we did, if you could change one thing, what would it be? I'd have thrown Carver on his stupid ass so he wouldn't attack that ogre. He was always such a show-off. Everything else? The Maker is wiser than we can be in a lifetime. Who am I to question his plan? I couldn't ask for a better sister. May the Maker bless you and keep you, brother. Thank you for supporting my people. It means a lot that you at least haven't turned against us. Oh, This fucking douche. Hello, Anders. I underestimated you, Hawk. I really thought when it was put to the test, you'd have to kill me. You are an example to us all. Our victory here will change Thedas forever. Thank you for standing by me. We would not have reached this point without you. May the Maker bring us victory. Maybe if he shows his approval, the world will finally be ready to change. They should have given me an option to say, you know what, I changed my mind, and I just slit his fucking throat. Nervous Hawk? There's nothing to be afraid of, Varric. We can handle this. The scary part is, when you say that, I actually start to believe it. I must be going crazy in my old age. You know me, Hawk. I'm not one for long goodbyes. I'm not sure we should be doing this. Helping dangerous people run amok. But I'm with you. Whatever I'm going into, it's good to have you along. It has been an honor, Hawk. What do you say we put an end to all this waiting around and go meet Destiny? Varric is the shit! Alright, I guess all we have left is Meryl? Oh yeah, Isabella's not here anymore. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Or there's more to do, or... Does all this feel like a dream to you, too? I can't believe it's come to this. You'll get us through this. You always do. Hawk, before we go... I... Meryl, whatever happens, I'm proud to have known you. You'd think they would have said something like, you know, I love you, oh my god, you know, I do have a romance with her. Who's this guy? I'm not sure how I'm going to... Eh, play. shut up, nobody cares. Alright, look, it's this guy. Hello. The circle will never be the same. Alright, guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode here, because I think it'd be really epic to have 60 parts total. So this is uh, part number 59. And yeah... Alright, I really hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, will you please like and favorite the video for me? In our next part, we will definitely finish the game. There is, there is no ands, ifs, or buts about that. I hope you guys have a nice day, and poo so.